In today's quick Blender tutorial, I'm going to show you one of my favorite, in fact, I'm going to say this is actually my favorite add-on in Blender. It comes built into Blender and it allows you to choose whatever object or objects you want. And you can simply select an object that you want to target it onto and you can press F3, type in scatter object, and then just paint and press enter. So I'm going to show you how to set this up. I'm going to show you just a little example, how to set it all up. And I think this is just the coolest thing in Blender that a lot of people might not even know about. And it's really cool to add it to your workflow. So let's jump in and I'm going to show you exactly how you can make this all work. So first of all, we want to make sure you have the add on enabled. So you're going to go to edit and you're going to go to your preferences. And then you're going to go to your add-ons and up here you can just come to the search bar and type in scatter. So S-C-A-T-T-E-R and you're going to see object scatter. So type in scatter and you can see here my little box here is ticked. I've already ticked it. So go ahead make sure it's ticked and then you can close this. And now we have that add-on which is built into Blender enabled. So let's make a little example here. So we're going to go shift A. Let's add in a plane. Let's scale it up. Let's just go control A and apply the scale. Let's tab into edit mode. I'm just going to go control R and add in a loop here. Just left click twice and I'm going to go control B. Just give it a bevel. Roll the middle mouse button once and I'm just going to make a simple little setup here. You can use any object for this. I'm just making a very simple example here to demonstrate the point. I'm going to right click, go shade smooth. And now you're going to take an object. So I'm going to take this cube here and I'll just get rid of these two. So I'm going to take this cube and I'm going to hold in shift and select this object. Now you can work it either way. I could take this and scatter this object onto here, but I want to take the cube, holding in shift, select this object I want to scatter onto. I'm going to go F3 on the keyboard and just type in scatter. And you're going to see object scatter comes up here. You're going to click on it. And once you do that, you're just going to left click and drag. You're going to drag across the surface wherever you want it. And then you, when you're done, you're going to let go and press enter. And here you can see it's nicely scattered this across the surface for us. It's got all these nice little rotations. You can grab the object that you scattered. You can grab it. You can come in here and make adjustments. And you're going to see in real time, it makes the adjustments over here for you as well, which is really cool. Now let's look at something else. Let's see, you want to do multiple objects. Let's go add in a monkey head. Let's add in a Taurus. So now what you're going to do is just select these three objects, hold in shift. And once again, you can press F3, type in scatter, click on that. And now you can click and drag and you can paint that on and press enter. So you can do multiple objects as well. So that's pretty cool. Another thing you're going to notice, it adds all of these objects in here um, that they are parented to. So what you can do, you can just select this sort of um, collection that it's made and you can just go over here to your scatter. And when you have it active, you can just come to the little drop down and then you can kind of turn off that in the view over here so you don't see it. Or you can just select these objects and you can press H and just hide them so you just see the scattered objects here. Um, but that is it. I hope you guys have enjoyed this short little Blender quick tip. This has got to be one of my favorite um, add-ons in Blender. I hope you guys have enjoyed it.